assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to solve solving word problem lesson 4 unit number 8 decimal book 5 so let's start from page number 187 on this page the question is already solved we just have to subtract $50 and $16.55 so let's subtract how do subtract 50 now we have to balance the number point zero zero to balance these four number sixteen point five five now we have to subtract <coughs> simple subtraction we cannot subtract zero from five zero from five and zero from six so we are going to take the borrow jump simple subtraction method four ten become nine Again, 10 become 9 and 10. 10 minus 5, 5. 9 minus 5, 4. Point as it is. 9 minus 6, 3. 4 minus 1, 3. So the answer is 33.45. Page number 188, question number 3. A glass contains 0 0.15 liter of water, more than a cup. Cup se zyada. A bottle contains six times as much water as the glass. Ab jo bottle hai, usme six times zyada hai glass se. From this, six times more. The total amount of water in the glass, the cup, and the bottle is 3.89. Means jo amount of water glass mein hai, aur jo bottle mein hai, aur jo cup mein hai. Wo sab amount mila kar total 3.89. 88.9 liter. How much water is there in the bottle? Now we have to identify ki bottle mein kitna hai. Cup mein, glass and then bottle is incomplete and we have total from these three is 3.89. Total we have six times so we have made one, two, three, four, five, six units for the bottle. <coughs> 8 units total, 6, 7 and 8. 6 units for the bottle, 1 unit for the glass and 1 unit for the cup. 8 units mean 3.89 plus this amount. So we have total 4.04. .04. From this 4.04 .04, we have to divide this number into 8. The total we Dono numbers ko add karne ke baad aage because glass pe already 0 0.15 liter water maujood hai. So we have to add, add karne ke baad hum jo bhi total amount hai usko 8 units mein divide kar denge because we have total 8 unit, 6 units bottle ke and 1 and 1 unit for the glass and cup. Divided by 8 unit means 8 unit jo hai wo humara ho jayega 0 0.505. Now we have to find how much water is there in the bottle. Bottle ki units kitne hai? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It means 1 unit is of 0 0.505 multiply by 6. 3.03. 3. There is 3.03 .03 liter of water in the bottle. Page number 189. Question number 4. Bina bought one badge and three keychains in $29. It means that total amount of bag or keychain ka $29 pay kiya. Tom bought one keychain and one badge. Tom ne one keychain and one bag badge purchase kiya. Each keychain costs three times as much as each badge. Means jitne ka ek badge hai, usse three times zyada ek keychain hai. How much did Tom spend? Tom ne kitne rupees spend ki? Each keychain costs three times as much as each badge. Ye cheez dobara hai mention ho gai hai. We use one unit to represent the cost of badge and three units to represent the cost of keychain. Because keychain ka ek hi, badge ka ek hi unit ho ga and keychain ka three unit because keychain three times badge se zyada hai. So we have one unit for the badge. And three units for the keychain. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. So 
this is and the total amount they pay is $29. Now we have total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 and 1, 10 units. Total हमारे पास 10 units हो गए. Because 3 keychains हैं and 3 units for each keychain. 10 units, $29. One unit means 2.9. 10 है हमारे पास. 10 means हम अपने decimal point move करते हैं सिर्फ. हमने decimal point move किया तो answer आ गया 2.9. 2.9 and we have 3 units. 2.9 multiply by 3 because total units हमारे पास 3 हैं. और हर unit के 3 parts हैं. यानी एक key chain 3 times ज्यादा है. So they bought 3 key chains. It means total 3 and 1 unit 3 is equal. 2.9 <coughs> multiplied by 3 is 3 9 the 27, 2 here, 3 to the 6, 7, 8. 8.7. Each badge cost 2.9. Each badge jo hai wo 2.9 ka hai. And each keychain cost or her keychain, one keychain jo hai wo 8.7 dollars ki hai. <coughs> now, Tom bought one keychain and one badge. We have to find that how much did Tom spend. Tom ne kitne spend kiye to hum kya karenge one keychain and one badge ki amount ko plus kar lenge. One keychain means 2.9 and one badge 8.7. Dono ko add karenge. So we have the answer 11.6. Let's add 2.9, 8.7. Make sure decimal point bilkul ek dusre ke niche aayega. And simple, we add 7 plus 9, 16, 1, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 is the complete number, 11.6. Page number 190, question number 1. Practice question solve. Rope A is 3.24 meter longer than rope B. Rope A is rope B from rope B. 4 meter longer hai. Rope B abhi hume nahi pata. Rope A is 5.1 meter long. Rope A jo hai wo ye given ho gaya rope A. What is the total length of two ropes? A first rope A to humare paas aagya ye. Rope A jo hai wo rope B se 3.24 meter longer hai. It means agar hum in dono ko subtract kar le then we can find the rope amount total of rope B. Then we have to find the total. Let's start. So here we have rope A 5.12 meter. Rope A is 3.24 meter longer than rope B. Rope B we have to find. We malum to find. So we rope A mein se longer amount ko minus kar denge. <coughs> When we subtract we get the answer 1.88. It means rope B jo hai wo 1.88 meter ho gai. Total length of rope A and B. Rope A is 5.12. Rope B is 1.88. Then we have to add. Let's make a rough work here. 5.12, 1.88, 10, 10 and 6 plus 1, 7.00. Point ke baad zero ki koi value nahi hoti. So we are going to cut. And the answer is 7. The total length of two rope is 7 meter. Question number 2 is 2.48 kgs of flour is mixed with 1.27 kgs of sugar. Flour and kg mixed together. The mixture is then packed equally into 15 packets. So pehle hum kya karenge? In dono ko add kar lenge. Then we are going to divide this number with 15 packets. What is the mass of each packet in kg? Jab hum divide kar lenge is total ko 15 packets mein, we get the mass of each packet ke har packet mein kitna mixture aya hai. Here we have the solution. Flour 2.48, sugar 1.27. Dono ko add kar liya 3.75. Let's see, add kar kar dek lete hai. 2.48. 
kg is the total mixture now we have to divide this mixture into 15 packets 3.75 divided by 15 पहले हम point ऊपर ले जाएंगे because 3 15 से divide करना impossible है so we are going to take the decimal point upper और decimal point से पहले हम 0 add कर लेंगे so it will become 37 15 2 is a 30 7 as it is and 5 then 15 5 is a 75 so the answer is 0 0.25 kgs what is the mass of each packet in kgs the mass of each packet in kgs is 0 0.25 question number three is at a supermarket broccoli and celery are sold at 0 0.59 per 100 gram yani ke broccoli or celery jo hai wo sold ho rahi hai 0 0.59 per gram broccoli sold ho rahi hai and 0 0.26 dollars per gram jo hai wo celery sold ho rahi hai how much do 1.2 kg of broccoli 1.2 kg broccoli and 950 gram of celery cost all together agar 1.2 kg broccoli and 950 gram celery hai to dono ki total cost kitni hogi so first we have to convert this kg into gram kyunki sab cheeze gram mein maujood hai 100 gram aur 100 gram to isliye hame isko convert karna padega so 1.2 converted into gram is 1200 gram 1000 ho jayega and 200 ho jayega to 1200 gram now let's start the solution broccoli jo hai wo sold ho rahi hai 0 0.59 per gram 100 gram ke hisab se and celery 0 0.26 100 gram now 1.2 kgs of broccoli pehle 1.2 kgs ko convert kar lenge 1200 gram mein ab 1200 gram multiply by 0 0.59 pehle hum broccoli ki total nikal lenge and then celery ki aur phir dono ko add kar lenge because hame dono ka total banana hai so 1.2 kg means 1200 gram 1200 gram hum 0 0.59 se multiply kar lenge so 1200 multiply by 0 0.59 is 708 708 को हम जब डॉलर्स एंड उसमें कन्वर्ट करेंगे सेंट्स में तो वी हैव 9.8 डॉलर्स 9.8 डॉलर्स सेम चीज हम करेंगे सैलरी 0.26 100 ग्राम सोल्ड हो रही है तो 950 ग्राम्स कितने की सोल्ड होगी 0.26 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 950 तो ये हो जाएगा 247 अब इसको कन्वर्ट करेंगे डॉलर्स में 2.47 2.47 dollars अब इन दोनों को ऐड कर लेंगे because we have to give the total cost of broccoli and celery दोनों को मिला कर कितने होंगे तो हम क्या करेंगे 7.08 plus 2.47 को plus कर लेंगे तो हमारे पास आ जाएगा 9.55 dollar total cost of broccoli and celery is 9.55 dollar Question number four here, हमारे पास a pencil case cost four times as much as a pen. एक pencil case है जो के four times ज्यादा है pen से. अब two pen case, two pencil cases and three pens. Two pencil case and three pen cost total cost बता दी है pencil के cases यानी pencil cover की and Three pence ki jo ke hai twenty four dollars seventy five cent altogether. Find the cost of each pencil case. Ab humare pas two pencil case hain aur hume alag alag dono ke price find out karne. So first we are going to make the unit system like we have already done. Abhi abhi humne same question yahan par kiya tha bilkul. To hum wohi isi isi method ko use karte hue like keychains kitni thi humne same method use kiya is question ke liye. We have two pencil case and each pencil case is four times as much as pen. So, what do we do? We four times. So, we have four one unit and four one. Let's solve 
वन टू थ्री फोर एंड वन टू थ्री फोर ये हो गया वन पेंसिल केस एंड ये हो गया टू पेंसिल केस एंड पेंस कितने थे हमारे पास थ्री तो हम सिंपल उसके थ्री यूनिट बना लेंगे एंड टोटल कॉस्ट है ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नाउ वी हैव द टोटल यूनिट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एलेवन एलेवन यूनिट्स की हमारे पास कॉस्ट आ गई ट्वेंटी अब हम एक यूनिट की कॉस्ट फाइंड करेंगे एक यूनिट की कॉस्ट फाइंड करने के लिए हम क्या करेंगे ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई एलेवन वैन वी डिवाइड दस विद एलेवन वी गॉट द आंसर टू पॉइंट टू फाइव डिवाइड करने के बाद हमारे पास आ जाएगा टू पॉइंट टू फाइव लेट्स सी डिवाइड करके चेक कर लेते हैं तो यहाँ पे हमने इसको डिवाइड कर लिया सो द आंसर इज टू पॉइंट टू फाइव एज यू कैन सी द रिविजन अब 2.25 जो है वो वन यूनिट की अमाउंट होगी वी हैव टू फाइंड द अमाउंट ऑफ वन केस ऑफ पेंसिल वन केस ऑफ पेंसिल इज हैविंग फोर यूनिट्स सो फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय 2.25 जो एक एक यूनिट की अमाउंट है सो फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय 2.25 पॉइंट टू फाइव इज नाइन डॉलर फोर फाइव जो ट्वेंटी लेट्स मल्टीप्लाई टू पॉइंट टू फाइव विथ फोर फोर फाइव जो ट्वेंटी फोर टू जो एट नाइन टेन फोर टू जो एट प्लस वन नाइन नाइन पॉइंट ज़ीरो ज़ीरो पॉइंट के बाद ज़ीरो मीन्स नथिंग सो वी हैव द आंसर नाइन डॉलर इट मीन्स दैट फाइंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच पेंसिल केस ईच पेंसिल केस इज ऑफ नाइन डॉलर्स